Hello everyone, I'm Shwam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, our topic for today is a cube. Now we will discuss all the basic and fundamental properties of a cube and we will also discuss all the formulas that are required to solve any question that is related to a cube. So let's begin with our topic. Now the shape that we have over here is a cube. A cube is one of the most simplest three-dimensional figures. Now if you don't know what are 3D figures, then let me explain it to you briefly. If a figure requires a length, a breadth and a height to describe its properties, then that figure is called as a 3D figure. If I name the vertices of the cube from A to H respectively, then I can say that AB is a height of the cube, BC is the length of the cube and CF is the breadth of the cube. Now since for a cube all the dimensions L, B and H are equal, then we can take it as a single value A. So from this we can say that all the sides of a cube are equal and each side is equal to A. Now let's discuss the structure of a cube. A cube is made up of 8 vertices. So over here you can see that we have 8 vertices in a cube starting from A and going all the way up to H. A cube has a total number of 12 edges. So you can see that AB, HD, BC and DC and all the others are edges of a cube and in total a cube has 12 edges. A cube has 6 sides or I can say that it has 6 faces. So I can say that ABCD is one face of a cube. DGCF is another face of a cube. AHCD is another face of cube and same for the other three faces of the cube. So I would repeat myself once again that a cube is made up of 6 faces, 8 vertices and 12 edges. There is one important point to note that is all the angles of a cube are 90 degree each. If we take the length of the side of a cube as A then I can say that the perimeter of the cube is equal to 12A. Now you may think that if a cube is made up of 6 faces and each face has 4 sides then the perimeter should be equal to 24A but that is not the case. This is because each side is shared by 2 faces so we have to divide the total by 2. So by that we get that the perimeter of a cube is equal to 12A. If we know the length of the side of the cube then to find the surface area of a cube is very simple. Since a cube is made up of 6 squares then I can say that the total surface area of a cube is equal to 6a square. Now every 3D figure has the capacity of holding some liquid inside it and the total amount of liquid that it can hold inside it is called as its volume. Now the volume of a 3D figure is equal to length into breadth into height of that figure. Now since all these values of a cube is equal to A, then the total volume of a cube is equal to A cube. Now for a cube we have two kinds of diagonals. One is a face diagonal and another is the body diagonal. Now the value of the face diagonal of a cube is equal to root 2a and the value of the body diagonal of the cube is equal to root 3a. The straight line that joins the opposite ends in a same face of a cube is called as the face diagonal of the cube. So for the face ABCD, AC and BD will be the face diagonal of the cube. Now if AB is equal to A and BC is also equal to A then I can say that AC is equal to root 2A. So AC is equal to root 2A. Now I've got this value by using the Pythagoras theorem because the angles of a cube are 90 degree each. So I can say that AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. So I can say that AC is equal to under root of A square plus A square which is equal to root 2A. Thus I can say that the phase diagonal of a cube is equal to root 2A. The straight line that joins two opposite ends of two different faces in a cube is called as the body diagonal of the cube. 
So I can say that AF is one of the body diagonals of the cube. Now you can easily calculate the value of the body diagonal of a cube. If I form a right angle triangle by using one of the sides of a cube and one of the face diagonals of the cube, then I can say that AB square plus BF square is equal to AF square, which is the body diagonal. So by using the Pythagoras theorem, once again, I can say that AB square plus BF square is equal to CF square. Now AB square is equal to A square and BF square is equal to 2A square because BF is equal to root 2A. So BF square is equal to 2A square, which is equal to 3A square. So CF square is equal to 3A square. So I can say that CF is equal to root 3A. Now a cube has a total of 12 face diagonals and 4 body diagonals. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there. And all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy. Oh, 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 oh